Welcome to the Church of Thomas. 4910 Negative Talk. One of the things that we have to watch out for is that when negative things are constantly being said, it creates hurt. Uh, and these hurts can start at a very young age. One of the first people that we listen to to learn who we are, how we fit in the world, what the rules are, come from our parents. If what they say is negative, like you're so stupid, or geez, you can't sing out your way out of a paper bag, or you're ugly, you're fat, why can't you exercise? Worse yet, why can't you be more like your sister? It's important to understand that everybody is unique and everybody has things that maybe aren't perfect. Frankly, I don't want to be perfect. If I were perfect, I, I'd probably on, be on the next cross and I don't want to do that. But what we need to understand is the negative talk affects how we look at ourselves later. There are those little whispered things that we when we start having bad times, start coming back and going, well, Mom always thought you were stupid. Yeah, I guess I'm stupid. I had a problem, not necessarily with my parents, but with my brother. I loved to sing. It was one of my favorite pastimes, and I enjoyed it immensely. It just filled my soul. But my brother thought I sounded like a crow, and he often told me to shut up that I stunk at singing, that I was horrible, and it did affect me to some of, uh, extent. Even though he wasn't a parent figure, he was someone that I loved, and I fought not to listen to what he said, but it did affect me. Eventually, I started singing only when I was alone or in the car or the shower or whatever, and it was only when a partner or a friend would hear me singing and go, wow, that's not bad. Why don't you sing more often that I would sing in front of them? But I often didn't initiate it. But there are talents among us that are negated a lot of times by the negative talk of others. If you know that you're doing a really good job at work and you never get any praise for it and all they ever say is negative stuff, it does affect you, but try and understand that the talents and the gifts that you have need to be expressed even in spite of the negative talk. Fight the negative so that you can be the best you can be. Here's a couple of verses I think you might like. The first one is Colossians. And it is uh, 4.21. Uh, and this is uh, in the category of rules for a Christian household. Uh, 4.21 is, Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Well, that sounds a little bit like what I was talking about. But also, a lot of times when there is criticism, it is a self-loathing that is being projected on to somebody who doesn't have the problem. Maybe you identify the trait that's in you that you hate, so you denigrate it in somebody else. This is Reconciler Gospel of Thomas, verse 25. Jesus said, Love everyone like your own soul. Protect them like the pupil of your own eye. Now that may sound simple, but it's really hard not to say negative things if something that you hate about yourself is, is visible in somebody else's character or behavior. Try and let them express their talents and gifts because the world will be a much better place if they can. If we can all express our gifts and have less negative talk deriding it, the world will be a much better place. God bless the whole world, no exceptions. Angel Eliza.